Hello, good morning and welcome back to Farmer's Wife Homestead. I'm Stacey if this is the first time we're meeting. Oh, look at the hair going on with me this morning. Today I've got a video that um, I've been wanting to make for ages but I've been playing catch up with some requested videos. Um, so what we're going to do is a wee while ago I shared my pizza dough recipe and um, so many of you have made, made the pizza um, recipe and sent me photos and I've been so impressed by the amazing pizzas you guys have been creating. So um, what I'm also going to share today is the one dough which obviously I shared in that video and five different ways that you can use the dough. Um, so yeah that's what it's all about today. So with that one pizza dough recipe we are going to make some frozen pizzas and I know I um, I mentioned that in that um, pizza dough um, video but today I'm going to show you how I freeze them. Um, we're going to make a focaccia bread, we're going to make some calzones so that's basically a pizza with all the insides and the filling in the pockets so it's like pizza pockets. We're going to make some pizza scrolls and we are going to make some cinnamon sticks. Now the cinnamon sticks is just I don't know, I, I may have seen a video of it online once or something, but I've not done it and we'll, I don't know, we'll just make up something um, with cinnamon because I thought it would be quite nice to do something sweet as well. Alright, so yeah, we will show you how to utilise that one dough recipe, which I will share in the description um, of this video and um, yeah share with you five different ways that you can use it and I hope you really enjoy it. I'd like to take a moment to thank today's sponsor BetterHelp. So um, I've been um, seeing a therapist for some time now. Um, I went through some trauma in my life and it left me um, pretty much a shell of myself um, and it was it was a really hard time and I hid it from my family and my friends um, because I, I didn't want to bother them with my my problems you know um, so um, with help from a friend um, they encouraged me to see a therapist um, it's it's been fantastic for me um, to get over the trauma in my life that I um, that I suffered from the thing that I love about better help is that um, you answer a few questions and um, they will usually within 48 hours find a therapist that would suit you and your needs and you can have um, you know talk to them over the phone you can um, online chat with them you can video call or you could just message it's completely over to you and the other great thing about it is that uh, if you are finding that your therapist is not a great fit for you um, it's no problem you don't have to go through any breakups or awkward breakups or anything like that because better help will f help you find another therapist they have provided me with a discount code for my viewers so better help forward slash farmers wife and you can get your discount so thank you again to better help so the first thing I'm going to do is make up um, one one um, <laughs> one batch of the dough and with that we're going to make some frozen peaches, uh, pizzas and we might make um, the fracasha bread, we'll see, either the fracasha bread or the calzones, probably the calzones makes more um, sense because it's the same sort of stuff out so yeah so we'll do that, some pizza bases and some calzones first. I've made this pizza so many times that I can make it um, without thinking about, or without the recipe now. I've got my two and a half cups of water. I need some white sugar. Just a couple of tablespoons of the sugar. Just checking the the water isn't too hot. It's not. It's perfect. And I've got 
the three teaspoons of yeast. I'll leave that out because I'm going to use it again today. And I'm just um, mixing that yeast into the water so that it can activate and hydrate. Okay, give that a few seconds to see that it's going to get all bubbly. I'll grab some salt and the flowers out there and I need some oil. Yep, that's started its activation. So oil, and we're going to go with six cups of flour to start with. About a teaspoon of sea salt. Blade. Now we'll just let the machine um, hand knead it. Well, until it forms a bowl, uh, a ball, we don't um, have to knead it for any particular time. That's the great thing about this recipe. But we're just going to make sure that that all comes together and. Um, if it's wet, that's that, if, it, if the dough's a bit wet, that's great because um, it will hydrate. It's better to be a bit wet than um, too dry. Okay, so that's come together in a ball and I've shut that off. Right, first thing I need to do is grab all my ingredients. Um, I have no ham, so I'm just going to make them pepperoni pizzas. And I need to go and open up a big tin of my tomato paste as I'm out of my little pucks. And that I keep in the freezer. Um, so here's the salamis that we get made by our butcher. Um, so this is a venison salami. So I'm going to cut um, some thin slices of that and I've got some home cured bacon um, because I know that they will enjoy the meat, um, meat pizzas. So I'm just going to chop all these up and I'm going to grate some cheese um, and just make them really basic and plain and then um, I'll show you what I, um, how I put them together and how I freeze them. So for the pizzas I'm going to do um, frowns. Let's try and getting them as thin as I can, so just like that. And then for the calzones I'm going to um, dice it. So I'm going away to see my dear wifey or my best friend of oh gosh over 30 years and I'm going to visit my grandchildren and my daughter and son-in-law so these will be quite nice for a husband to have in the freezer so if he's had a busy day he can just pop these pizzas in the oven because he works hard and then he's got to come home and cook so I try and make it easy for him if I can go with this amount and if I need more I can just cut more so I'm just going to go like that and then just cut them into chunks like that for the um, calzones um, how did I do it you can put whatever you like in your calzones. And then I'm just going to dice, dice them that way. Yeah. So 
so that's the bacon into little chunks and if you're interested in learning how to make your own bacon husband showed us in a video and I can link that at um, and at the end or in the description I'll, I'll do both right so those are the meats ready for the meat pizzas and um, I've got the tomato paste up here and now all we need to do is start rolling some dough okay so um, I'm going to get some um, baking paper um, I might actually see um, I can reuse some of no I won't because I want a specific size for this so what I'm going to do is I know these are going to be eaten up really you know probably within the next week I'm going to make the pizza the size that will fit into this um, large Ziploc bag so that's the size there um, yeah 14 large Ziploc freezer bags so my baking paper needs to you know fit the size of this bag you can also um, cut out little rounds of cardboard um, and you can put your pizza base on that cardboard and then um, stack them in the freezer um, to freeze uh, what's the word I'm looking for free free flow them so you um, you know prepare them stack them on one another and then um, and then you can pop them into a bag so that's kind of what we're doing but you as I'm trying to say that you can use um, cut out cardboard as a, a a hard base as well but with these ones I'm just going to put them on trays and then chuck them in the freezer for a couple of hours and then put them into the bags because I'll probably fit a good maybe two pizzas per bag um, so yeah so I'm hoping to make four pizzas and then whatever's left will make calzones so So yeah, so it's about the size. Okay, so I've got that those cut out and ready. I need some flour. I've sanitized the bench, I've cleaned my hands. I'm just gonna grab the dough. I'll leave the I'll leave the dough hook on there because we're going to be making more more batches of this recipe, obviously. Okay, let's bring this dough together. some areas so we'll just put some flour on there right so we want four pizzas um, they don't need to be very thick we'll see how we go with dividing this stove It doesn't matter if it's not a perfect circle, as long as it, it's going to fit into that bag, it's all you're wanting. And that's definitely going to fit in the bag. It's a perfect lunch size pizza really. Okay, so I'm going to do that with the rest of them. Right, I've gone and got myself a tray and I'm just going to put that aside. And I've got my tomato paste here. And I'm just going to 
little bit of tomato paste on each one. Right, I've also turned the oven on um, for the calzones. <clears throat> so I've done that. Now you can put some herbs in here, no problem. Do um, whatever you like. So I had some um, chopped up onions in my fridge that need using up. You know me, use up what you've got. And normally I put the salami on top of the cheese, but I'm actually going to put the, salam uh, the, the salami down. Some bacon. some cheese okay I've got these dividers that I use for free eating I'm just going to grab one of them and put that over top of the pizza and now I'm going to pop this onto my tray and I'm just going to stack them on one another if, um, if you don't have something like this just use another piece of baking paper you do need to have it because it, it could stick um, you know so you just want that double layer of protection so I'm just going to make up the rest of these and then And then we'll make the calzones. I might rip these so I don't have to use so much. It's that first pizza. Took quite a few. Let's try and break up that bacon. two on this tray and two on my roasting tray and I'm just going to see I'm just going to go and pop them in my big um, deep big you know deep freeze and then by the time we finish this video hopefully these should be frozen and I can show you how I package them up so if you were wanting to store like if you had a big um, morning of making a whole heap of pizzas for putting in the freezer um, you can also put them into vacuum sealer bags if you've got a vacuum sealer and if you don't I highly um, I highly recommend you getting one um, because it really does save on freezer burn and stuff like that so yeah you could make them the size of the the vacuum sealer bags that you've got and then they will um, last in the freezer for you know three six so months you know um just like the frozen pizzas that you buy from the supermarket um at least with homemade you can use the ingredients that you've got and honestly a batch of this dough i oh, it would only probably cost a couple of bucks of that and it got me four pizzas for you know meal sized pizzas and we've got the other half to make some calzones so you can see just how versatile this dough is. Alright so let's get on to making some calzones but we're going to actually cook them um, and there is no reason why you can't um, freeze them exactly the same way as the pizzas uncooked and then pop them yeah both the pizza and the calzones can be cooked from frozen. Um, you're just not going to get the the same rise as if you took them out and let them thaw and come up to room temperature you'll get more of a rise from your calzones um, which is better but you can cook from frozen if you want to right so I'll bring you down and we'll do something with these doughs um, don't need to be very big And 
you want around disc. As much of a round disc as you can get. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, so, so you're not going to go all the way to the edges with the calzones because you need to press the sides. So I'm going to put in a bit of onion. Some salami. A couple of bits of bacon. And some cheese. Okay, so now you're going to bring that side to that side. That's why I use the the baking paper because it's easier. And then you're just going to crumb. So you're just going to go over and push down, over, push down, over, push down. So you're just sealing in those edges. These are great for lunches, either school or work lunches. Done. Now you can wash wash the top with an egg wash or milk if you want, but that's fine. So I'm just going to pop that on a tray. Um, and I'm just going to make uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, four. It's probably going to be about eight. <clears throat> Some of these doughs are a little bit big, so you want them about that much dough. See, and that one's like huge, so I, I would think that I'm going to make about eight. You can get away with um, using a lot less ingredients with these calzones. And I just keep reusing this same bit of paper and putting them on the baking tray. Um, you don't want to run, um, make them too thin that um, you know they'll burst either. Okay, and then I'm just popping that on the baking tray. So those are going to go in the oven now. So it made eight. I'm going to pop those in. Right, just keep an eye on them. They won't take very long, maybe eight to ten minutes depending on how high you have your oven. I usually like to have mine pretty high. All right so that one dough um, which was six cups of flour has made four pizzas, eight calzones so two each or even one one for a lunch is good um, out of that one batch of dough. The second batch of dough that we're going to make um, so we've got pizza scrolls Focaccia bread, wouldn't need a whole um, cinnamon, pizza scrolls. Okay, we're going to make one more batch of the six cup batch and then we'll make the focaccia bread and some pizza scrolls with that. Um, so I will just make up another batch. So with this batch, I'm just letting the yeast proof. Um, I have popped in some oregano and um, some dry basil and um, that will be you know through the dough so I thought that might be quite nice through the focaccia and um, the pizza scrolls. Um, I also need to grate some more cheese for the um, pizza scrolls and do a little bit more bacon and um, um, salami as well. Okay, flour my hands, this is the second dough And 
and we are going to cut. I've got my tray, that tray there that's going to be for the focaccia. So I want to roll it to about that size. Um, we'll go with, I think we'll probably go with half, half the dough. slightly smaller so I'm gonna use this one so I just want to try and want to try and push it into the sides that's why I roll it out first because it it's a little bit easier to to get it more uniform too bothered that I don't that I'm not going all the way up to the sides for now because it's going to have its first rise <clears throat> so I'm just gonna dimple a few holes now but we're just going to cover this and leave it in a warm spot to rise I'm going to go and get some fresh rosemary from the garden and we will use some oil and um, you can use rock salt or a sprinkle of sea salt is really good. Um, if you've got a more denser salt rather than just a fine salt, if you don't have any other salt, just um, you know use a crack one or um, just use your fine salt. Alright, so I'm going to just pop this on the um, oven because it's already going. I'm going to check on these calzones. Oh, yum. First batch is ready. Yeah. All right, now I'm going to heavily flour on my bench and make sure that this dough is covered in flour. Now I'm just going to roll out a rectangle basically. So if you're making us um, cinnamon cinnamon rolls, which yes I am bringing my recipe to you soon. about that. Now I'm not going to go all the way to the sides. Um, these sides is okay but I need to leave a bit of a gap on that side. Of course you can use pizza sauce, you don't have to use just plain um, tomato paste but I'm out of pizza sauce so I need to make some um, I didn't want to cut up any bacon or more onions so it's just going to be plain pepperoni pizza salami I mean You don't want too much cheese because otherwise it's just going to run out. But just give it a good, good layer. 
Okay, and then all you're going to do is roll it up like a cinnamon cinnamon bun. And again, these can be frozen, cook them, and then thaw them. You know, in the lunchbox is fine. Now I like to just sort of bring in these edges because otherwise they're quite thin. You want them all about uniform shape. Um, and then I'm going to cut it round about the same. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah. And if you wanted to, you could go um, even thinner and do 16. Um, but these are going to make quite big buns. Right, I need to get these calzones out. Right, these other calzones are ready. Now I'm just going to pop these on my chopping board. Just going to put a fresh bit of paper down. Tray is still warm, so it'll it'll make these um, proof a lot faster. So I just get them and squish them down. So they definitely could have been cut again if you'd like, but today I want some bigger ones. Um. Alright, so we're just going to let that um, proof for a little bit and then we'll pop it in the oven. There's the calzone and I love that it oozes out on the bottom. I'm going to take a bite, hopefully it's not still too hot. So I can show you the middle. pop them into the freezer like that and then you don't have to worry about cooking them later um, and all you have to do is take take one out night before pop it in the lunch box boom lunch is done right I am going to look at the fricasha that's going well those are rising nicely. So now I'm going to just make a single, not a single, um, a half batch of the six cup pizza dough. Um, and I'm going to add, um, it's got a little bit of sugar in it, in it anyway, so I'm going to add an extra um, tablespoon of sugar to make it a sweet dough. Uh, so I'm just going to make that up now and then we will... I don't know, we will have a look and come up with some sort of a cinnamon cinnamon type um, dish. Right, I've just made up a half batch. I am going to flour the bench. Right. 
got a flat tray and some baking paper. circle but that's going to be too hard. So we're going to make another rectangle. So just grabbed a little bit of softened butter. This is what was left on this packet here. Instead of a circle, we're just going to make a, <clears throat> a long, twisty loaf. Ah, oh, now we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> but I will definitely um, share with you the cinnamon bun recipe. It is different than this. Very straight stace. Fold it over itself. Don't worry if it's looking messy at the moment because it'll all come together. I make a garlic and cheese pull apart just like this too. So instead of the cinnamon sugar you can um, put um, garlic and herbs and butter, cheese. this together and we're going to put that aside and hopefully you can see all that and then um, put that aside and let that rise for a little bit right oh that's hot those are the buns so we're going to throw that, those in Right, for the focaccia, focaccia bread, um, that's how it's looking at the moment. I'm just going to dimple it again. And you want lots of dimples because that'll hold the little pockets of flavour. And I've got a couple of just the tips of um, a rosemary bush because they are the most tender. I've done this with um, dried rosemary and it's not as nice, so try and get fresh if you can. And 
I like to just add a good oil try and not splodge it out that bad as me do a couple more leaves over this way and as I said before you can finish it off with rock salt but I prefer the sea salt right I'm going to give that another 10 minutes to rise again and then that's going to go in the oven um, at 180 fan forced so um, all of these recipes have been at 180 fan force so you want if it was on bake it would be 200 um, you cooking it only cook the pizza at um, full hit um, but the calzones the pizza scrolls the focaccia and the cinnamon twist loaf um, is all um, 180 fan bake there's the beautiful focaccia bread Gonna pop that in now. And the pizza scrolls. So delicious. The Rakash bread has just come out. Oh, it smells so good. filled with oil and rosemary so we're just waiting on um, the cinnamon cinnamon twist loaf and um, for the pizzas to finish um, freezing up so that shouldn't be much longer um, all in all it's taken me maybe I don't know a couple of hours if that and that's with filming as well um, but I've made all these lovely doughs, uh, dough recipes um, but yeah just set aside a couple of hours on, on one weekend when you've got some spare time and fill your freezer full of all these convenience type lunches and dinners and um, breads and all that sort of stuff um, the other thing that you can do is freeze down the dough um, so make up um, say a six cup, six cup batch and um, freeze the dough balls into um, you know into a bag and then um, and then pop them pop all the little dough balls into another bag and then you can just pull out a dough as you need it let it um, rise and then roll it out and do any of these recipes so yeah hopefully that's lots of little ideas for you right the um, cinnamon dough's come out I'm going to just grab Um, a bit of water and some icing sugar. I'm just going to make up a really quick thin icing. Just decided at the last minute that I would do a drizzle over it. water so I'm just going to let that cool down a little bit otherwise the the icing will just run straight off it but that's about the consistency so I'm going to let that cool for a bit and then drizzle that all over it so I thought that might be quite nice to have that and it's kind of kind of like a cinnamon bun but it's a loaf but again the recipe for my cinnamon rolls are different and it's yeah so 
it's up to you if you want to wait for that recipe. Mm, yum. So this is the icing and I'm just going to drizzle. Yum. Right. Let that set up. It smells delicious. And the cinnamon twist knot with the icing glaze. Right, I almost forgot to show you the frozen pizzas. So they're now fully frozen. So I am just going to grab my bag and pop them into there. Just using this, I'm, I'm putting two in each bag. So we'll keep. Just try and get as much air out as you possibly can. got a straw you can use a straw just pop it in the side here and then suck out the, um, the air brilliant pizzas in the freezer ready to cook wow what wonderful things we've made today so um, yeah um, I hope you give some of these recipes a go and if you do please leave um, a message down in the comments and let me know which one you tried or send some photos through to uh, the link in the description uh, what is it? Farmer's Wife Subby Kitchens and send your photos there and I would love to see them. Um, also any recipes that you would like to share. Um, thanks again to today's sponsor Better Help and um, thank you for joining me today. Have a good one and hope to see you on the next one. Bye for now.